Okay, so this is the wax that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There are some characters that were even in... This is the, of the Switch one. The Wii U version had way less characters. It didn't have Bowser Jr., King Boo, these two people, and those are the DLC, those are DLC characters. Those are more DLC, DLC characters, so... The initial roster was kind of whacking. I don't think Zybones was in the game either, so he wasn't in the game. But, uh, let's talk about this roster. Okay, so let's just talk about the Tanuki characters and Tanu these two. We do not. Okay, so by make a better Mario Kart 8 roster, we gotta remove Tanuki Mario, okay? We gotta remove him off the game. There's no way he's to take up a spot on the roster. People criticize Smash Bros. rosters for having clones, but and we can also remove Cat Pete. Just making an optional costume, okay? Making an optional costume. Don't make them take spots on the roster. Take a weapon from Smash Bros. and have them make alternate costumes. Then we have um, the babies, okay? Baby Mom and Baby Weezy can keep, but these three, we do. Probably Baby Teeth. But these two are unnecessary characters, okay? They're unnecessary. Baby Zazy and Baby Rosalina are quite possibly the worst characters Nintendo, besides the next two, have ever made. We do not need them at all, okay? We do not need them at all, okay? They should not be even in the game, okay? They're like the worst characters in the entire game. And then next we have Metal Mario and Pink Gold Peach. Metal Mario, like Tanuki Mario, should just be a costume. Pink Gold Peach should just be never been thought of and should, have been, should not be in the game. Say the worst character in Mario history. People say Wow Weezy is. People say Daisy is. No, it's Pink Gold Peach. Worst character in Mario's history is Pink Gold Peach. The worst, worst character in the history. Then we have all the villains here besides Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is that villain. Corporal is to sort of add D Kong back. There's no reason. Keep them out of the Mario Kart roster. We had the freaking Inklings, but we don't have freaking Diddy Kong or Funky Kong. They're not even a characters in the game. So, it's my suit for that. Dry Bowser, he was in Mario Kart Wii, so he gets a pass. Koopa Wii should be all one character. So you should just pick, you should just have like one. It should be right K. It get picked from all of them. There's going to be like eight, like seven spots. Just make it easier. It was okay, K for the Koopa Weens, and you can just pick from all of them from that. Don't have to. It, it just takes up space. It'll make the roster easier to organize. And characters that are not from Mario Kart, we'll move them, okay? We'll move all of these characters. We, in Mario Kart 9, we'll move all of these characters. We do not. We only need. This is Mario Kart, not Nintendo Kart. If you want to remove Mario Kart and make Nintendo Kart, Go ahead, you can add Nintendo characters and Nintendo Kart. But this is freaking Mario Kart, not Splatoon, not Mario, plus Splatoon, plus Zelda, plus Animal Crossing Kart, okay? We can't just add, I don't know why Nintendo's doing this. Nintendo only did this to spike up Wii U sales. That's, that's, cause they don't, because, oh, we, we, we must find a way to make more money from people. Oh, yeah, let's put a character from, it's funny how, but they didn't add Captain Falcon. Will we? But, uh, but then even then, they didn't add Captain Falcon. They added Wink. A guy who slashes people like, over Captain Falcon, a guy who actually races. And he actually had an F-Zero race, but you can't play as Captain Falcon. Just why can't you play as Captain Falcon? I have no idea. You can't play as Captain Falcon for reasons. This is why everybody hates Nintendo. They, they always like to disappoint everybody with the disappointments of rosters like... Smash Bros. cannot really disappoint in Watson since they can't. Because they really added every single character, so you don't have to complain. Oh, yeah, that guy is not in the game still. Could see you, Nintendo. But Mario Kart 8 9. Okay, so if we made Mario Kart 8 9 the roster, we have to cut some characters. It's not like Smash Bros. are not going to cut all. We're going to cut, we'll cut the unnecessary characters, okay? We're going to cut these two, get rid of them. Get rid of these two. Get rid of Pink Gold Peach. Maybe let Ma Mario Star Mario stay. Make Mario Mario and Tanuki Mario costumes. Make all the Koopoins like one character so you don't also. You can add new characters. Add back Diddy Kong and Funky Kong. 
And I don't know who else you could add. It could add my. But if we did it Nintendo's way, we would add Mario with Cappy. We would have Dr. Mario as separate characters. Since they had since Dr. Mario as a separate character in Smash Bros. So we'll give Nintendo an excuse to make Dr. Mario a separate character in Mario Kart. And then we could have other color Toads. Wait, as separate characters, we can have other colors of Yoshi's if they really want to get lazy. We can have other colors of Psy Guys if they really, really want to get lazy. We can have uh, other colors of all characters. Like, if you want to double the roster, you can just recolor characters and make them separate characters. But that's how Nintendo will do it. They like to always be boring and tall and bland. This is why everybody hates Nintendo now. They're always like the most boring company of all the companies. Like, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe when it was, it wasn't really Deluxe. It was just Mario Kart 8 with, like, four new characters. That's all. Four new characters. That's really all the new characters that were added.